Hello everybody, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, I'm a freelance web developer and designer and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a code toolkit on Notion. Before we jump into all of this, quick disclaimer, I did not come up with this idea. I learned this from one of the web developers I took a course from. She provided us with a code toolkit um, that went along with the course and the curriculum. So I kind of took that concept and integrated it into my own workflow with the code that I found myself using over and over again. So. This is her concept, but I just wanted to make that very, very clear before we begin. I did not come up with this. Um, I will also add that that web developer is the person who taught me how to develop on both Squarespace and on Shopify. So would highly, highly recommend taking any of her courses. It is worth every penny. She helps you with the entire client journey. I mean, she has email templates, Adobe XD templates, Figma templates, honestly everything you need to hit the ground running as a freelance web developer so i could not recommend her course more i will have all of her information linked down below but now let's get into it as a web developer or web designer you're going to find yourself using the same little snippets of code over and over again especially if you are my kind of web developer where you're often working on a content management system or a cms like shopify or squarespace where you are likely going to be using, again, just the same thing over and over again. This exact concept is what led us to have things like React or jQuery. They're all libraries that basically made it easier for us to access the code that we're having to write every single time over and over again. Today, we're basically taking that concept and making a much more chill version of that. We're not gonna be developing a new programming language. We're just going to be developing a way for us to organize our code so that it is easy for us to find and use when we need it. So with that being said, let's head over to Notion. So I went ahead and went into Notion and opened up a blank page. I went ahead and obviously added our cute little emoji and title. And we are going to hit our forward slash, which allows us to access all of the commands and different options that are available on Notion. And we are going to create a inline database. So I just like typing in inline, it's easier to find that way. And again, you'll wanna choose this option, otherwise the database will become the entire page. Um, an inline database allows you to also add additional things to that page, so I always prefer using this method. I'm gonna title it code, um, and I'm just gonna keep this video general because you can really customize this template however works best for you and your workflow. This is just how I like to see the information be presented, so. I am going to go to table at the top, hit edit view, layout, and then hit gallery. This will change the way our table information is displayed. And it always comes with a few templated items. I'm just gonna get rid of that and open up our first one. So this code template is going to be what I use to remove the header and footer from a page. I like to make custom link and bios for my clients. I find myself using this code frequently, so I'm just going to pre-write it so it's ready to go. I can easily copy and paste it when I am working on a client's site. Now that this card has been named, I'm going to hit the forward slash again and add a code block or a code snippet. Before I begin, I'm going to adjust the language. It's actually already on HTML, which is what I'm writing today, but you can add CSS, JavaScript, whatever language you're coding in, you can cater and adjust this to whatever you're doing. I'm gonna paste my code in here, and then I'm going to move to the tags. I'm first going to add a Squarespace tag because this is a code snippet that I often use on my client's Squarespace sites. And then I'm also going to add a links page tag because I have a few other code snippets that are relevant to the links page and I want to be able to easily filter through all of my code snippets so that I can easily find them in the future when I need them. Last thing that I'd like to point out here, using these code snippets is a great opportunity to comment your code or just format it correctly so that when you are copying and pasting, it is beautiful and ready to go from the get. Um, I realized that this code snippet should not be there. There we go. 
If you have longer snippets of code, this is a great opportunity to really take the time to format that code as best as possible and add all necessary comments so that you are continuously having high quality, clean, easy to read code, even when you're just copying and pasting from your own little database or you're using something that you use all the time. Now, this part is very optional, but you can add a cover it can be whatever you want. I like to pull images from Unsplash. I'm going to look up a house because for some reason when I think of a header, it makes me think of that. I'll reposition it, add that to the center like that. Now when I exit out of this code block, the image should show up there. If the image is not showing up for you, you're going to want to navigate to these three dots next to the new button. Go to layout and then scroll down to where it says card preview, hit page cover. Again, this part is very optional, but you can always pick an image that goes along with whatever bit of code that you just added, helps you visually identify the code a little bit faster, and for all of the people that care about aesthetics, it will just make it look nice and pulled together. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please let me know if you have any other Notion strategies that you use for organizing your code, especially from any freelancers or entrepreneurs that do this um, on a multiple client basis. I'm very interested to hear. Thank you all for watching this video and I will see you all next time. Bye!